What is up guys, this is Chris Wood, aka Mantis from Mantis and the Funk. I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about uh, Fret Rocker and um, how to set up our guitar for, uh, excuse the camera thing here, uh, how to set up our guitar uh, with a Fret Rocker to know about leveling and if it needs to be leveled. So we got a, our neck set up here and I will Tighten this so I can show you. Excuse me again. All right, and we are ready and set to display a fret rocker. Now, what I do, and what I recommend, is always to straighten the neck first. While it's up to tension, while the strings are on it, truss rod is always first, okay? You want to get the neck as straight as possible here. All right? as straight as you can get it. And then uh, and then I take the neck off the guitar if possible, okay? Here we're preparing this guitar for a Floyd Rose installation, so we have the nut off as well. And this is perfect uh, because we're going to eventually uh, pull out this bad boy, and this is a fret leveler. And what you do is you just put some 400 grit sandpaper on this, you set it right on, the frets and you just slide you're not pushing down you're just sliding and uh, we'll explain what it is that you're looking for when you do that and what it is that's doing but this little guy is the fret rocker as you can see it's got four sides to it that are different lengths okay there's this guy this guy this guy and the big one that we start with okay up at the top you're going to use the big one the big side because what you want to do is you want to set it between three frets you want to set it on three frets and just try to gently rock back and forth if you can you're also going to do this across the radius of the fretboard so I do it three times I do it on the low E side on the very middle like between the D and G and then over here on the high E side between the, the B around the B string or so okay when you're doing this and trying to rock it don't push down and indent your frets okay be very gentle and just see if it rocks if it rocks what you're testing is actually the middle fret you're not testing the first one just because the edge of this fret rocker is on the first fret doesn't mean you're testing the first fret because we have three frets spanned the middle one's going to tell you it's going to tell you if the middle one is high or not if it rocks, that means that the middle one is the one that's a little higher at that spot. Again, three spots to check. I'll show you, for example, on this guitar neck, that down here, excuse the uh, styrofoam, uh, where are we at? We are at the 15th, 17th, um, we use this little guy on the side, and right in between here, okay? Uh, can't see it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. We got the smallest side for the the lower frets here, and uh, the higher frets actually is what I'm saying. Lower on the neck, higher on the uh, guitar, and higher on the pitch. You know, so we got it between the 15th and 17th frets, and it's rocking. Okay, when you set it down, it rocks. I can feel it. Sometimes you don't hear it, but you feel it. You feel a slight rock. You have to make sure that the rock is not caused by you. That you you have the right length. We had a few high spots so I just wanted to get one so I can show you this guitar is pretty good though pretty right here there's a slight rock I can feel it now what that means is that <clears throat> the fret here between the 11th and 12th on this side the low E side is a little high that's all that means what you do is you're gonna check all three sections okay down the guitar neck and if it, say you have uh, 
lots of problems, lots of frets are rocking, and that means they need to be leveled, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to get a Sharpie, alright? And you're just going to color these frets. You're going to use the, the Sharpie to just color these frets, okay? I'm not doing it now because I have to do some preparation before I uh, level this, but you'll see a video. The preparation is cleaning. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Um, so I have a base to start from that's clean. Uh, but also, you don't have to do that. That's something I prefer to do. Um, after you have sharpied all the frets, you're going to sharpie everything, not just the problem there is. Everything is going to be sharpie. Some people want to, they, they use a different color sharpie. And they sharpie the problem areas with that color. Again, which station of the radius? Is it the low E, the middle, or the high E side? They'll use a uh, green sharpie or something, and then black and everything else. That's just to make sure during the leveling process that the, the problem areas are getting sorted out. Because what the leveling is going to do with your sandpaper and your precision leveling block what that's going to do is it's going to take off the high areas and make everything uniform. Now, you don't want to take off a lot, okay? And when you do this, it's going to flatten out your frets, so you're going to have to do something about that. You have to crown them. What you want is a a fret that is rounded toward a straight, thin line of fret on top. So that's what they call crowning. It's going to make it basically oval, it's going to round it over again, okay, it's going to round it like a half oval there, bloop, so it's going to round off the fret again, okay, you have to do that after you level them, because this is, it's going to take them down to almost a trapezoid shape, like they're, they're going to be flat on top, and so then you have to come from the sides, what you do is you're, you're going to take a sharpie again, get all the frets marked, okay, and then you're going to leave, you're going to start with some sandpaper, or you have a, if you have a fret crowning tool, uh, which uh, I'll show you what it looks like. If you have something like this, this is a crowning tool that basically has a slot for your frets. And its goal is to... Uh, to round them back off and leave the middle bigger, okay? Leave it higher in the middle and get the, the sides to round over, all right? You want them to round over. Um, so after you're leveling, you're going to uh, either use a, a, a crown crowning tool or you can make your own tool. I've seen it online that sits right on your fret and basically you're gonna take the sharpie off and leave a thin line of sharpie on the top okay you can use uh, cuticle files I've seen people use just know that know what you're doing is rounding and leaving a thin line of marker on the top which you're, you're gonna buff off and clean anyway because you're gonna polish these frets and that will take that right off with some steel wool or something okay Protect your fingerboard when you're doing the crowning uh, aspect. And we'll have more videos about different things. This was basically to explain the whole process and why you use a fret rocker. It's to know whether or not you need to level, okay? Because uh, if you only have one or two problems areas, you can sometimes just, you know, mar sharpie them. Just the which section again. Is it low E, middle, or high E? Side of the radius. Or is it the whole fret, you know? But uh, you can sometimes just do a spot job by cleaning up those sides and getting them down so it doesn't rock again. Little at a time. You're trying to fix uneven frets. You're not trying to cause new problems that will make it so you have to level the whole thing again, okay? If you're just doing a spot job, very small amounts, you can always do more. You can't do less, and then if you mess it up, you're going to have to level the whole thing anyway. So, this guy, uh, I've seen him from uh, out of, on eBay from China. That's where I got this one. You just have to be careful with tools.
for your guitar that come uh, overseas and are cheaply made. Um, be careful that they're uh, they're actually straight. You can check those things, but also the really sharp edges and things. So what I do is I take some fine sandpaper and I get rid of the fine edge that could possibly poke in to my fingerboard. Okay, you want to be careful around your guitar's fingerboard. All right, so. Again, this is, that's how to use a fret rocker. You're going to switch to each size as you get lower on the neck or higher on the register, however you want to say it, uh, until you get down to the, the last couple of frets, which are this little guy. See? So this can sit and rock if, it, if between three frets you're checking the center fret, okay? You're checking the, the center guy. And again, don't be afraid to, to just do some spot stuff and not have to level the whole thing because then you have to crown them and then you have to uh, polish those crown frets uh, to get off all your, uh, all your sanding and everything. Now the reason that I take the necks off when I do this, if you're, if you're able to, um, and I'll explain if you're not, if you're able to take the neck off, it's better to do that because as you're sanding down, these metal flakes... If you if your pickups right here, it's a magnet. It's going to start sucking in that metal if you don't tape them off. Okay, so I take it off uh, just because if if I'm able to, um, because I, I want to avoid any kind of metal near the the, the magnets of my pickups. Okay. Also, uh, if you have a set neck or a neck through and you can't take it off to do this, uh, frog tape. Uh, I use frog tape or masking tape or painters tape tape off all your electronics, okay? Because I've seen people uh, leveling frets right downward into where their pickup cavities is not, not even taped off. Uh, here on YouTube, I've seen this, and that's a horrible idea. This, these are going to suck up all the metal. Every time I have uh, a Les Paul or a set neck uh, guitar that I'm leveling, um, and I tape off the pickups, the amount of metal flakes that gather, you can see them all on the uh, individual poles and uh, screws for the pickup, you know, the poles, the magnetic poles. You can see them gather there. So don't tell me that, it, that, that it's not uh, necessary to tape them off. If you, if you are going to leave your neck on your guitar when you're doing fret work, tape off your pickups, okay? So there's a couple of the uh, dangers and the things to look for, uh, the things to prep and do. Take the time, slow down, you can always do more, uh, you cannot do less. So uh, whether or not you should is based on the results of your fret rocking, you know. Um, a lot of the time, uh, if you're, uh, you know, playing uh, solos and things and you're always in the higher... Uh, strings over, you know, lower strings. Uh, you, I, you know what I mean. The thin, the thinner strings and uh, the high E side of the radius of the neck. If you play there constantly and you don't ever play over here, then you, you can understand how uh, these this can happen. It can become inconsistent in the amount of uh, fret that's left because your fingers are corrosive. You know, the oils on your hands are going to be corroding this stuff rusty strings, the strings get rusty and old and they start corroding you need to uh, to understand how it is that your fret, your frets act after years of playing uh, and these uh, these little guys will tell you what's going on in each individual fret by three at a time okay three at a time three different places on each one, each one you're checking, you're going to do the high E side, the middle, and the low E side. All right. So again, this is Chris Wood from Manson the Funk, just showing you a little bit about a fret rocker, why you would need it, and what it's used for in preparation for leveling. But again, uh, if you only have one or two problem areas, uh, you might want to spot, uh, shape them with uh, a cuticle file or something and not have to do a whole level and crown and polish, okay? Uh, but it's in that order, all right? It's check, level, crown, polish, if necessary. 
if you check and there's only two problems, you know you don't need to level all your frets again. You know, that's uh, these are for you know extreme cases where uh, you have many problems all over, um, and so. If you're having dead frets and things, you're probably going to have to level, okay? If you're having terrible dead frets, uh, and it means that there's probably some, some problem with, uh, with the level of all your frets being uniform, okay? That's what you want to get. You want to get uniform, and you don't want to take off a lot, all right? Very little. Very, it takes very little to get these frets, uh, to the right place, and it, and it doesn't take much to get them further than that, and then you have to refret it. Okay, you don't want to do that, so be very careful. You can always do more. All right. Again, it's Chris Wood from Anson the Funk. A little bit about fret rockers. Be good.